Your check engine light just threw a P0402 code, but what if fixing it could save your engine from costly damage and restore smooth performance? Stick around. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to solve it for good. Today, I'm gonna walk you through what this code means, why it shows up, and most importantly, how you can fix it yourself without spending a fortune at the shop. First, what exactly is the P0402 code? It basically means the EGR valve is letting too much exhaust gas flow back into the intake when it's supposed to open. Here are common symptoms you might notice include the check engine light staying on, the engine idling roughly, hesitation or sluggish acceleration when you hit the gas, a drop in fuel economy, and in some cases, knocking or pinging noises during driving. Now let's talk about what usually triggers this code. A clogged or dirty EGR valve, carbon buildup blocking the EGR passages, a faulty EGR solenoid or sensor, damaged vacuum lines, or wiring issues. Here are two simple DIY methods you can try to fix this problem. Method A, the EGR valve. When you're looking at the engine from the front, the EGR valve sits toward the back of the engine just slightly to the right of center. Start by carefully removing the EGR valve from your car. Flip it upside down and fill it with WD-40 cleaner. Let it soak for about five hours so the solvent can break down all that carbon buildup. Once it's dry, reinstall the valve back into the car. If it's too dirty to clean properly, it's better to just replace it with a new EGR valve. Method B, the intake manifold. The intake manifold is on top of the engine and it's a key part of the combustion process. Begin by carefully removing it from the engine. Spray WD-40 cleaner inside to loosen up the carbon and crud, then wipe it thoroughly to make sure it's completely clean. Once the manifold is dry, reinstall it back onto the engine. So here are two of the most practical solution to fix P0402 code. After cleaning or replacing what's needed, clear the code with your scanner and take the car for a test drive. If the code doesn't come back, congrats, you fixed it. If it did, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks like this. Thanks for watching, and remember, when it comes to car problems, you've got this. See you in the next video.